The retirement of legendary coach and great guy Fran Dunphy didn't last long. He's back on North Broad Street with a new role. Here's Pat Gallon. He's a Philly sports legend and the winningest coach in Big Five history. But after stepping away from coaching last year, Fran Dunphy is back on North Broad Street. Fran Dunphy, 30 years of great service to this game. Dunphy was named the acting athletic director at Temple University. When I was asked to do this, I was... Uh, I can't say I was excited. I was, uh, again, humbled because of the daunting nature of this task. I think uh, we are in very challenging times in so many different ways. Those challenges include navigating a sports world affected by COVID-19. We're trying to follow best practices by some people who are a lot smarter than me, certainly, uh, to you know, listen to the, the health people and uh, the doctors and how we can best help our students and student athletes, uh, their, their health and safety is, is primary. Black Lives Matter! Dunphy also talked about the need for change in our communities. We need to have as much empathy as we possibly can for each other. We have a phenomenal opportunity to change uh, so many things that are not right in the world. And I'm a big Spike Lee guy too. I said it to my guys all the time. Do the right thing. Just do the right thing and life will be okay for us. The university believes it is putting their program in the hands of someone who connects with this city and school and remains highly regarded. John Cheney weighed in saying, quote, his leadership and his calm demeanor is just what the university needs at this critical time. There truly is no better person than Fran. Aaron McKee said, quote, he is a man of impeccable character. Dunphy is just happy to be called upon when needed. I want as many challenges as possible, and uh, I want people to ask me to do things because I, I think it's great to help others. And, and again, I hope that I can help. Pat Gowan, CBS3 Eyewitness Sports. Let's all do the right thing.